So you've performed well at your interview. Right at the end, they're gonna take you into a little room. They're gonna sit you down in front of a computer and you're gonna get 15 minutes to complete a test. What we have here is a typical modern day Excel interview test, whereby they're gonna describe a scenario and you're gonna to have to interpret the instructions and then you're gonna to have to use your Excel skills to complete the task at hand. With this scenario, we're creating a weekly staff rota. We've got the staff names at the bottom there. The key things to note are, the shifts are Monday to Friday. We're covering a 12 hour service, which starts at 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. Each shift has got to be eight hours. And staff need to do a minimum of three shifts per week. The other key things are, we need a minimum of two people on site. We need a minimum of three people during the busy period. The busy period is 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. And then we've got some staff preferences for Mary, Trevor and Karen. So let's get stuck in. The best way to start an Excel spreadsheet from scratch is with our column headings. Let's get our days of the week in here. I'm gonna type Monday. I'm gonna use my autofill to get my five days of the week. And down here, I'm gonna start creating our shifts. So we know the first shift is gonna start at 6 a.m. and they are eight hour shifts. So it's gonna finish at 2 p.m. And then because we need two people on site, I'm gonna leave these two rows to put my staff names in. And what I wanna do is merge these cells. So I've got a drop down here and I'm gonna say merge cells. And I want it to be aligned vertically in the center. And I've got a button here called middle align. Because we need three people on site at 9 a.m., I'm actually gonna start the next shift at 9 a.m. so I can bring my third person on site. They're gonna finish at 5 p.m. And the third shift needs to end at 6 p.m. So they're gonna start at 10 a.m. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna say merge these cells and I want to do a middle align and I want to do the same thing here and because the instructions don't say anything about formatting what colors we should use what font we should use we can get creative and get some extra brownie points at our interview. I'm gonna highlight my column headings. I'm gonna hold down the control key. I'm gonna select my row headings and I'm gonna make that bold. And I'm also gonna give it a background color and I'm gonna choose yellow. And I also wanna create a little border around my headings. And we have this button here for the borders. I'm gonna click the down arrow and I'm gonna say all borders. And I'm also gonna make this cell here yellow. Now we're ready to fill out our rota. So Mary prefers the early shift. Let's put Mary in and it's three shifts per week. Then we have Trevor does the school run in the mornings. So why don't we put Trevor on the late shift and get our autofill cursor and autofill to get our three shifts. Karen doesn't work on Fridays. So we can put Karen in the middle shift, get our autofill cursor, autofill to the right, perfect. Let's stick Mark in here.
and Mark needs to do three shifts. Then we have Delroy. Then we have Abby. One shift there. Another shift there. And another shift there. Then we have Pat. Pat can do one shift there. Another shift here. And I can auto fill that. Then we have Frank. Then we have Ade. And finally, we have Blessing. Now, to finish off this task, we need to name the worksheet as week one. Let's take our cursor down to here, double click, and this is going to be called week one. We need to save the workbook inside a new folder. The new folder is gonna be called weekly rotor, and the workbook itself is gonna be called staff rotor. Let's go up to file, Let's click save as. Make sure we're on documents. Let's create a new folder called weekly rotor. Make sure we go inside of that folder and then name the workbook as staff rotor. Click on save. And that is the end.